Hey guys, Ryan1988 here doing week three, week three of the uh, <coughs> uh, DVD fiends, and this is my third review on the YouTube page. And this week we're doing weird or odd movies, and it could be either horror movies or it could be any other type of movie that's weird or not. But I'm doing the horror movie um, Deadly Friend. Made in 85 or 86, and it's uh, directed by Wes Craven. And this is one of his uh, films that a lot of people don't talk about, or he doesn't even mention a lot. And I thought this movie is weird and odd just because of the whole storyline, basically. It's like a teenage Frankenstein type of movie. And it stars Matthew Lambertson or something like that. He's from uh, Little House on the Prairie TV show. And it also stars Christy Swanson, who is in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie. Flowers in the Attic. A couple other movies. And the whole storyline is basically about Paul, uh, the character of Paul, who is a teenage genius. Uh, him and his mom moved to a different house and different uh, neighborhood town. A different town with his robot BB, who's basically uh, kind of like a human, has the some abilities of a human, and he can, for example, push uh, furniture around, move furniture, help with stuff like that. And uh, I actually thought it was a really good movie, and like I said, it is weird and odd. Um, one night when uh, Christy Swanson, Christy Swanson's character, Paul, and another friend of his in this movie, and Baby, are out on Halloween. They decide to break into an old woman's house, who is actually the old woman in The Goonies, if you've seen that, which I think a lot of people have seen it. And she's really grouchy, and she has security all around her house. And so they break in, and BB is shot by a shotgun by the old woman and destroyed. And so a month later uh, on Thanksgiving, Christy Swanson's character is pushed down a flight of stairs by her drunk father in this movie and she becomes brain dead and dies. And Paul actually tries to save her by using BB's chip and puts it in her head and uh, Basically, she comes back human form, but has the mind of a robot. And so everything else, everything starts out okay. Um, he, he tries to help her. Paul tries to help Christy Swanson's character. And uh, then Christy Swanson starts acting strange and seeks revenge on basically everybody who is cruel to her and to uh, Paul. Because she starts, the her mind, that is the mind of a robot, BB, um, basically uh, wants to protect Paul. And so she'll do anything, or BB will do anything, to pr uh, protect Paul. And seek revenge on the people who hurt Christy Swanson's character, or Paul. And so she actually, when she's the robot... Christy Swanson goes over and kills her father. And there's a dream in which after Paul finds out that Christy Swanson killed uh, her father, Paul has this dream, and it's so creepy. It's one of the creepiest scenes in this movie. Uh, I'm not going to tell you a lot about it, um, but I just thought it was really bizarre and weird. And the father, Christy Swanson's father in this movie, has that creep factor to him, so. Uh, also, there's another scene in which they go to the old woman's house. Christy Swanson, as the robot, goes to the old woman's house and breaks in and basically kills the old woman with a basketball. I mean, she throws the basketball really hard at the woman's face and her whole head just explodes. So that's the only thing I'm really going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you the ending. The ending is bizarre and weird. 
But I just thought that death was awesome. It was one of the better deaths in this movie. And it was just weird. I, I've never seen a, a movie in which somebody dies with a basketball. Like, head completely comes off. So, so if you have seen this movie, you know that the ending's weird, though. Like I said, I'm not going to really tell you about the ending. I may uh, post it at the on the description, I think it's this side, or this, I, I don't know, it's going to be on the right, and uh, I will try to get that up, try to find it on, um, try to find a video of it, or try to find you, the tr try to find the trailer for you guys to watch, so, and if you guys like the trailer, if you guys like that ending, definitely comment on this because I I just thought the reason why I wanted to pick it was because it's so it's a slasher movie, you can call it a slasher movie. I mean there's gore in this movie. Not a lot. Um scenes in the movie they're they're bloody and gory. But it's not, you know, every five minutes or something. It's not like a regular slasher movie. And I don't know what I don't think I'd call it, you know, a knife guy coming in with a nice knife slasher movie. I think, in a way, it would be a supernatural one. Because it seems that when Christy Swanson dies and the, the robot BB's chip is in her head, it seems kind of like something's taking over her body. Like a, not like a pod movie, but I just, I... I don't know. I it was it was very odd, and it's hard to describe what kind of category. You can call it a thriller if you want, but since there's blood in the movie, I think a lot of people initially call it a slasher movie. I would say it's more like a, a super supernatural slasher, even though that's like uh, possession or something. And in a way, it is possession because Christy Swanson. Christy Swanson's mind is taken over by a robot when she dies, so... I don't know what I'd call it, um... But... Yeah, I, it's just very odd. It's a very odd movie. Weird and crazy deaths. Weird scenes. Um... But overall, I really liked it, and I really enjoyed it. So... And I, I thought this was a great idea for, um... Uh, for the week. To pick a weird or odd movie. So, and like I said, I'll try to post a video of that ending at the uh, in the description. And if I can't, try to get a trailer. So definitely check that out. Um, comment, subscribe if you haven't on the DVD themes. Uh, rate this video if you want. Um, definitely check this out though, and check out Deadly Friends. So, and um, also just check out. Uh, uh, all the other guys, guys' videos or reviews this week on the DVD themes. So, thanks guys, and stay tuned for next week on Tuesday when I come back and review the next movie. So, talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.